disease resistance in plants. There's a lot happening in this area. Here's a look at some recent research happening here in Nebraska. This is an effort to increase disease resistance in plants. What does this mean? This could mean a boost or a help in crop production. This study is underway here and uh, Jim is joining us here. He's a professor of plant pathology and I guess first of all let's talk about the research you guys are doing uh, at UNL. There's a study there that your research team is doing to uh, help with plant resistance and I guess explain first of all the problem and the scope that you guys are trying to fix. Well uh, we study a bacterial pathogen that affects um, a lot of different growing areas in the U.S. and elsewhere and um, the pathogen that we study is called Pseudomonas syringae and it actually has a, a system that could inject through a micro syringe bacterial proteins that suppress plant immunity. So what does this so, mean? Yeah, what does this mean? Explain this concept for us here. Well, the plant, um, any plant that was responding to a, a pathogen um, turns on an immune response, similar to what, um, you know, would happen in humans during an infection. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's a, a number of things that, a um, number of immune responses that are induced and, and usually this will stop the infection. But in the case of this pathogen, these proteins, these, these molecules that it's injecting into um, plant cells suppresses this response, so it allows the pathogen to continue to grow and cause disease. So what, moving forward here, this is, this is good stuff, and especially, you know, for our producers, this is, you know, ag country, too. Moving forward, what does this mean for um, those who are crop producers? Well, you know, we are funded by the Nebraska Soybean Board for this work, and what we're trying to do is um, identify what these proteins are doing inside plant cells to suppress immunity, mm -hmm. to suppress plant immune response. And our, our, what we're finding out is that these are, are actually, these proteins are targeting components, you know, parts of the immune system that we didn't even know about. And by identifying the immune system, uh, we could, we're finding out that sometimes we could make the immune system better. So the long-term goal of this work is to make plants that are better at stopping pathogens in agricultural crops, such as soybeans. So really, this is pretty exciting stuff. Are you are you excited about this work and going to continue it then? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've been working on this uh, in some form of this for quite a long time, and then this this paper that we just published that you know is getting getting the attention is is really an important paper for us. And and you know we we have we're trying to move this uh, technology into soybean and and other crops, and and yeah, we we're really excited about it good stuff here. I like getting this update too and looking at these things and bringing this information to our producers too. Thank you, Jim, for you know, all your work. If you want to take a look at this this piece, uh, we'll have it posted on our website, Nebraska.tv, a link to that information for you as well if you have questions. Well, you had to bear that blizzard out there. A lot of you were able to share your pictures with us. Here's a chance to take a look at Bearing the Blizzard of 2016. <music> Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. 
That's all we have for you. Have a great week ahead.